Yo, what up guys, I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Soul Drop and this is my first impressions look on the Leaning Sonic 11. So this shoe looks pretty damn sick and it retails for, uh, like, depending on the colorway, retails from 110 to 120 bucks. So if you guys do want to cop, I try to leave a link in the description box. But let's get it started right off with the Tractiones. In this colorway, we have a very, very, it kind of reminds me of like a very aggressive like dragon scale pattern a little bit. I don't know why, right? But yeah, it looks very similar to the original like kind of Sonics. You know, they had that kind of uh, pattern, but it is very very modified it does look a little bit different right and then here in the forefoot where the ball of your foot is we do have kind of like a pivot circle and also here in the heel we have a circle and then also in the midfoot so i don't know why they have so many but <laughs> and also it says sonic 11 in the forefoot with lead the leaning logo right here so how does the traction oh my goodness guys the traction feels freaking amazing i don't know what it is with leaning and just these chinese companies and leaning and uh way of wade i mean way of wade is owned by leaning but anyways the, whatever uh, rubber compound that they're using is just really, really sticky. It feels like it's sticking to my wood floors really, really well. There's a nice bite. Also, has a nice, loud, high-pitched squeak as well. So, well, it, the overall bite on a probably a clean core is probably going to be good, right? But, of course, we'll have to see on dust. Sometimes, it, that is the issue, right? Like, when I first get a shoe, it feels really good because my wood floors are usually cleaner than, you know, at the gym. Uh, but when once I go to the gym, if it's dusty, I do start sliding around sometimes. So we'll have to see on, of course, the performance on dust. But right now, it does feel very, very good as far as my first impressions go for the stop. And then for durability, it's, it feels like it's gonna be freaking good, right? So leaning or just these Chinese companies in general give us very durable outsoles because they have a, like their demographic in China, they play a lot on outdoor court, right? So they have to usually give us very durable outsoles and yeah, they're, they're literally saying it's tough rubber. So it's designed for outdoor use. So if you're gonna be playing on an outdoor court, you should be fine. This outsole seems very durable. The rubber's super hard. The grooves are very deep and also very thick. So yeah, outdoor use, you should be fine. And I do like the overall traction. It feels very good for my first impressions. And now moving on to the heel to toe transition. Overall, it does feel very, very smooth. Like, look at this shape here. And look at that. Look at how much it comes up. That's crazy. So you have this crazy rocking motion, although it is heavily, heavily caged. So it does feel a little clunky, but this rocking, like this kind of shape helps a lot here in the heel. And then the forefoot, we have a nice curved shape and a good amount of forefoot flex, right? So it feels super smooth for heel to toe transition. It doesn't really bend all too much here in the midfoot. So uh, good torsional support. And so overall, heel to toe transition does feel very smooth. And now moving on to the cushioning setup. So the cushioning setup is a little bit weird. So I was on their website and it doesn't really say anything about boom, but when I see the actual uh, plastic part, right, it says boom here, right? So I'm guessing there is maybe like a four foot boom pod. I'm sorry, but these websites, uh, the tech specs are uh, sometimes wrong or it's kind of hard to read them, you know what I mean? Um, but when I do remove the insole, I mean, okay, so as far as the insole goes, the insole is actually pretty damn nice, right? So here in the heel, we have a really thick kind of crash pad. It feels very nice for stepping comfort. And then here in the four foot, it gets pretty dead. It's just like a regular uh, kind of insole. And then if you look at the strobe board, the strobe is actually, it looks like a regular strobe board, which sucks, right? But when you feel it, there's actually a good amount of compression. It's very, very soft. And then here in the midfoot, it does get stiff because there's a pro bar lock, which is like a midfoot chain plate. And also in the forefoot, it does get pretty soft as well, right? Um, but yeah, I'm sorry if I do get the tech wrong because it, it like I said, it's kind of hard to get the tech specs for like Chinese shoes. But anyway, it says boom here in the forefoot. So I'm guessing it's a boom pod here in the forefoot. And then uh, we also have light foam plus. It says light foam plus right here, but I'm guessing it's a kind of like a full length midsole, right? But either way, it, the cushion feels pretty nice. Uh, I feel like they were going for a responsive cushion, but with good step and comfort, which I think is a pretty good trade off. You know what I mean? Because uh, look at all this caging. Like there's literally no midsole exposed. This, <laughs> I guess besides this, this is exposed a little bit, but then you have this. Uh, and then also on the medial side, this is also exposed foam, but that's pretty much it. 
And then here in the heel, like I said, look at all this cage. We got this plastic, we got the outsole coming up at, like caging all this cushion. So uh, there's really not a whole lot of compression as far as the midsole goes. But like I said, the stepping cover is pretty nice, right? So uh, yeah, the uh, the insole coupled with the softer type of strobe board, even though I don't think it's as soft as the soft mesh strobe board that I found in like the other leaning shoes or in like way of weight shoes. It's still like a pretty soft strobe board, which kind of surprised me. So the stepping cover is pretty nice. The, uh, the core feel also feels pretty good. It doesn't feel amazing, but it has pretty good court feel. So yeah, I feel like, like I said, I feel like it's gonna be a responsive cushioning setup because there's really no compression, right? But you have that kind of step in comfort and also I feel like impact protection is probably gonna be pretty good because uh, it's pretty soft right underneath your foot for the cushion. So uh, cushioning setup, nothing crazy, you know, nothing amazing. You know, if you're looking for something bouncy, something crazy comfortable or something like that, um, then obviously this probably isn't the best option. But if you're a guard looking for kind of like a responsive cushioning setup with probably pretty good, you know, impact protection and pretty good step in comfort, then this is this is a pretty good option, right? So there is the cushioning setup there. Moving on to the materials. So they're calling this boom fiber, right? So I'm guessing the boom fiber is probably this, right? It's basically just like, it, it looks it looks to be a very open kind of mesh or textile material, right? And you can see how, how good the ventilation is, right? So ventilation in this is, really, really good. Just air just goes through this. I really like that. Also here in the toe box, this material is super duper thin, right? So as, as you guys can see, it is a double layered material. So underneath this kind of like uh, really thin see-through material, there's this very open mesh and you can see the circles, right? It's very perforated. So that'll obviously be really good for, I guess, reducing weight and also really good for ventilation. But yeah, super duper thin. It conforms to your very well and it doesn't really stretch all too much. There's a little bit of stretch to it, however. And then around that here in the toe box, we do have some, actually that, we have a little bit of fuse and then we have the boom fiber material, right? But that'll be good for, of course, durability if you're doing toe drags and stuff like that. And also pretty good for support, uh, but it does, it does feel like it's backed by something. It is kind of stiff, right? And then also here for the first eyelet, we have these straps, right? So the eyelets go through these straps and these straps go down here into the actual material, giving you better lockdown and also support. Uh, so we have it here on the lateral and also on the medial side. So that does feel good. And then these laces, these laces are the exact same laces that they use in the All City 11. So it has kind of like this shape to it on the edge of the laces and it kind of grabs uh, you know, the eyelids very well and also when you tighten the shoes, it grabs onto itself very well. So it kind of like keeps the laces uh, very, very nicely tightened. It doesn't really undo very easily, right? So that feels very nice as well. Here in the midfoot, it stays extremely, look at that. It stays extremely, extremely thin. And for the tongue, we have like pretty much zero padding. There's a lot of perforations in the tongue as well for better ventilation. And it's also kind of like a half booty construction tongue, kind of, right? Giving you an overall better one-to-one -one fit. And uh, here in the ankle area, we have like, I'd say like an average amount of padding, nothing too crazy. So yeah, overall, it's a really minimal material, very, very thin upper, which I do like. If you're looking for coziness, if you're looking for a little bit of padding, obviously this is a terrible option, but in my opinion, I feel like most people will like it if you want a minimal material, right? Now moving on to the fit. So I went up half a size and fits me very, very well, right? Lengthwise, I would say it's pretty good. There, there is a tiny bit of length, but I feel like if I went true to size, it'll, it'll be a little tight. So just be careful on that. If you want a really, really snug fit, then go true to size. But like I said, I like to have a really snug fit, right? But I feel like if I went true to size, it would be, it would be a little too snug. So going up half a size, I was good to go. Here in the toe box, it's quite snug. And also width wise, I say it's slightly narrow. It's just a really snug toe box, right? So if you want kind of like a roomier fit, maybe go up a full size, but I feel like if you have a really wide foot or you want a really roomy fit, probably go up like a size and a half, you know, just because I went up half a size and so it's still a snug fit for me, right? So it fits me very, very well. And now moving on to the support and lockdown, I feel like it's gonna be very, very good, right? So as far as lateral counters go, we have this crazy plastic piece, right? It just, it cages the cushion. It kind of acts as a sidewall as well. Here in the forefoot, it doesn't come up as high, but it still kind of acts as a sidewall, right? And also we have this strap. And then here in the midfoot, it, it kind of comes up acting as a sidewall. And then here in the heel, we, it also acts a little bit like an external heel counter, but there also seems to be an internal TPU heel counter. So lateral containment feels like it's gonna be very good. And also look at this, look at how crazy the outrigger is. Look at how much this protrudes out here in the forefoot. So you have a very wide base. Uh, so I feel like lateral stability is gonna be good as well. And now moving on to the weight of the shoe. Huh? 
feels a little bit on the heavier side just because there's so much rubber, there's so much cage, uh, so much plastic. So I feel like it's gonna be like 13, 14 ounces. Oh wait, what? 12.25 ounces. Let's check the other shoe. 12.5 ounces. So it's pretty much average weight. I don't know why, but it feels a little hefty to me. Uh, maybe it's because uh, the upper is just so minimal. Maybe that's why. Uh, but yeah, this shoe does feel a little bottom heavy. It does feel a little thicker underneath your foot. So like the weight distribution is a little off. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It just feels like not normal. <laughs> you know what I mean? But overall, it does feel very nice on foot. Like the traction feels really good. The cushion with the step and comfort uh, feels pretty damn nice. And the upper feels super duper minimal. So uh, yeah, it feels, I like how it feels on foot so far. And now moving on to the aesthetics. Uh, it's okay. I mean, I don't like how it says leaning right here. I definitely do like the regular leaning logo better. Uh, and also this colorway is kind of weird, like this hot pink with this blue, <laughs> you know what I mean? But overall, I do like the silhouette. You know, there are some better colorways in my opinion. So tell us what you guys think of the aesthetics down in the comment section below. So wrapping things up, yeah, the, the Sonic 11 is feeling pretty damn good. And it's also pretty damn cheap, 110 to 120 bucks is very, very good pricing. And it feels like it's gonna be a solid like guard shoe, you know, very, very responsive shoe. Uh, so I'm very excited to try these out. But anyways, that about concludes my first impressions look on the Lee Ning Sonic 11. Again, if you guys do wanna cop, I try to leave a link in the description box, but that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.